off. The last time I sailed, the pin, this, was through there. That only gave me 6 degrees, or 6.3 degrees, of angle of instant. That's this angle relative to the horizontal of the boat. What I've done now is I've, I'm going to sail the boat with the pin here, through this hole. And that will give me between 8.5 and 9 degrees of angle of incident, so that will give me an earlier takeoff and lower speeds. Now, when you adjust that angle, you need to adjust the, the rudder. So I've wound it in, so I can see what's there, much further in the screw. And uh, the difference between the A and B measurement, the A measurement being the distance between the leading edge underneath the hull, which is just there, and the leading edges of the uh, coil at the bottom end. So you measure the two angles, and the difference should be 162. And this is set up on 165. So, 165 should mean that it flies, uh, might mean that the rudder doesn't um, uh, bring the, 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 the wheel down as much, so if it's a problem then all I need to do is unpick that and rotate it out, no, in, half a turn. And that will adjust the angle by three millimetres at the tip. And that's the plan. And hopefully, it won't be too difficult today in launching the boat. You never know. Awkward, but I put them on to stop the dis disappearing uh, if I accidentally drop it. So I thought, ah, let's go that way out. I just bought it today, of course, Joe. So I'm not happy. So I think we're good. Stop the recording because because I've angled this forward, the length of the teleflex became shorter, and it meant that the wand wouldn't deflect out completely. And because of that, to get this deflection here, I've had to take the cable off the rope and uh, undo the uh, board joints at either end turn them out and then tighten the locking nut.
Open it up to go. What do we think? Oh, I think following these half and third out is still that that um, rudder. The rod is still countering the main coil. And that's why we think. Uh, 